Hey there, Scott here with Saws on Skates. I recently built these storage cabinets for my workshop, but I didn't have a good way to organize my drills. So I built this drill storage rack. Come on, I'll show you how I did it. I started by removing the tools from the cabinet. Next, I removed the shelves. Then I took off the doors. My idea was to divide the cabinet in half. This way I could have shelves at different heights on each side and have a place for the drill storage rack. The plans I posted call for a brace at the back of the cabinet, but my original version didn't have one. I need to make a brace so I'll have a place to attach the divider. I centered the brace on the middle rail and used my multi-mark to transfer the location of the stud. And made marks for countersink holes that will attach the brace to the wall. On the other side, I drew a line down the center and made marks for countersink holes that will attach the brace to the divider. Next, I started working on the divider. I cut two pieces of 1x4 to 22 and a quarter inches for the styles, and two pieces of 1x4 to 3 and 7 16 for the rails. Then I drilled pocket holes on the ends of each rail. Time for a little glue. And now for a few pocket screws to hold the divider together. I wanted to fill the pocket holes with plugs, but the holes were really close together. I needed to cut the plugs so they wouldn't crash into each other. With the plugs cut down to size, I applied a little glue and inserted the plugs into the holes. These aren't a perfect fit, but I'll fix that before I paint the divider. A little block plane is a great way to trim the plugs flush when the glue is dry. Next, I needed to drill some shelf pin holes on the divider. I used a piece of scrap wood to set the jig at the same height as the holes in the cabinet. The indexing pin repositions the jig to drill the next set of holes. I repeated this process for the remaining sides of the divider. Now it's time to cut the parts for the shelf. The final dimension of the shelf is 18 and 3 8 inches wide, but I'm going to cut these parts to 18 and a half so I can square up the ends of the shelf later. I applied a little glue and clamped the shelf. I removed the clamps when the glue was dry and set the shelf aside. Next, I cut the hangers for the drill rack. All of these parts were cut to 10 and 7 16 First, I cut five pieces of 1x4, two pieces of 1x2, and three pieces of 1x3. The 1x3 pieces were ripped to 2 and a quarter inches on the table saw. I marked the locations for countersink holes to attach the 1x2 horizontal hanger parts to the vertical hanger parts. And I did the same for the 2 and a quarter inch pieces. Before I started the final assembly, I sanded all of the parts. Back at the table saw, I ripped the shelf to 11 and a half inches wide. I used the miter saw to square up one end of the shelf and then cut the shelf to 18 and 3 8 inches. The shelf needs to fit around the back brace, so I used a jigsaw to cut out a little notch. Next, I assembled the hangers. The outside hangers were attached to the vertical pieces with a little glue and one and a quarter inch screws. For the inside hangers, I used my multi mark to center the vertical pieces on the horizontal pieces. I made marks to attach the middle hanger to the middle of the shelf. The hanger set in a quarter inch from the front of the shelf, but it was easier for me to attach a piece of scrap wood at the back of the shelf to help position the hangers. I drilled countersink holes and attached the hanger with one and a quarter inch screws. 
To help position the other hangers, I ripped a piece of 1x4 to 3 and 3 8 inches. Next, I labeled the location of each hanger. Then I removed the screw so I could apply the finish. I sprayed three coats of shellac on the hanger parts and the shelf. When the shellac was dry, I reattached the hangers. Now it's time to finish up the brace. I made marks that will center the divider on the brace and position the brace on the back of the cabinet. I applied some double-sided tape to the back of the divider. This will help it stay in position on the brace. I centered the divider on the brace and then removed the brace and the divider together. The pieces were clamped and attached with one and a quarter inch screws. Then I filled the gaps between the pocket hole plugs. I sprayed the divider with a coat of primer and two coats of paint. When the paint was dry, I attached the divider to the stud with three and a quarter inch screws. I also attached the bottom and top of the divider with one and a quarter inch screws. There was a little gap between the brace and the wall that I filled with shims. I removed the shims with a utility knife. Next, I reinstalled the doors. I installed the rack, and now I have a great way to organize my drills.